it's me, Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I'm here today with an Easter related video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different DIY Easter egg designs that are extremely easy and very, very cheap to make. I found all these designs on Pinterest, and if you decide to try any of these out on your own, please send me pictures on Instagram or on Twitter because I would love to see your recreations. If you guys have any other questions or concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below. I will try my very, very hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we're just gonna get right into this video. For all these Easter egg designs that I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to be using these fake DIY Easter eggs that I got at Walmart. They are only a $1.98 per dozen. First up are the glitter Easter eggs. You're going to need a pack of fine glitter as well as a cup filled with glue mixed with water. This is just half glue, half water, and I mixed it together. Then I took one of my fake Easter eggs and I just poked a little pin through it so it would be easier to work with. I didn't want to use my fingers for this because I didn't want my fingers messing up all of that glitter. Whenever you touch glitter and glue, it kind of makes an imprint. So again, I just took a little pin, stuck it into the Easter egg, and I pushed it right into the glue and water mixture. Next I just cut open one of those glitter packs and started sprinkling the glitter all over the egg and that's really all there is to it. I cannot stress this enough, the fine glitter just works so, so well for this DIY. You can of course use a chunkier glitter if that is what you prefer, but if you're looking for more of a cleaner overall put together look, the fine glitter is definitely the way to go. Allow all of your glitter Easter eggs to dry completely before displaying them. I just placed mine on a makeshift drying board, which is basically just some styrofoam and push pins combined together. I allowed my eggs to dry for just about 20 minutes or until the glitter was hard to the touch. And there you have it, it's as simple as that. Super, super easy, extremely inexpensive, and look at how beautiful the end result is. I think the results just speak for themselves. I was mesmerized looking at these eggs. They are absolutely gorgeous, so much fun to make, and they really make such a beautiful home decor piece during this holiday season. Next up are the marbled nail polish Easter eggs. Now I am obsessed with this whole marbled nail polish trend. I think it is so fun. I think it is so cool that no matter how many times you do this, no two designs will ever be the same. And that is just really stinking cool. So to achieve this whole marbled nail polish look, you just wanna take a container or a bowl, fill it up with some lukewarm water, then you wanna pour in a bunch of different nail polishes. It doesn't really matter how you pour them in. You can do little dots, you can do squiggles, it really doesn't matter. It is all about taking like a kebab stick or a toothpick or a pointy object and kind of swiveling and swirling it around to make a cool design. So once I had my nice little design, I just took my Easter egg, I dipped it right into the center, moved around a little bit, picked it up, and boom, I was done. Directly after taking your egg out of the water, you will notice that there are some water bubbles on the egg. Don't worry about that, it will dry, and when it dries, those water bubbles will just disappear. Guys, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, 
but are these not some of the most beautiful Easter eggs you have ever witnessed in your entire life? I am so impressed with how they came out. They were extremely easy and again, super inexpensive. I had most of the materials at my house already. Now moving on to my favorite Easter egg DIY of this video, the cactus Easter egg. I started off by dyeing some Easter eggs green. I just took a bag and yep, that happened. No big deal, it washes right off. I placed an Easter egg inside of the bag, added some green dye. You can get the green dye or any Easter egg dye at CVS or Walmart or any drugstore like that. And then I just kind of moved the egg around until it was completely saturated in the green dye. Again, I just placed my eggs on my drying board to dry for about 20 minutes and I followed this exact same procedure to dye some Easter eggs yellow as well because I'm going to need them for an upcoming DIY in this video. When the egg was completely dry, I just took a black sharpie and I made some X's all over my Easter egg to act as the pricks of the cactus. Now to assemble this quote unquote cactus, I took a miniature flower pot that I got at the Dollar Tree, placed it down on my table, and I added in some pebbles also found at the Dollar Tree. Then I just took my Easter egg, I put the pointy side down into the pebbles, and the final step was just to take a pink flower again found at the Dollar Tree and hot glue it to the very top. And there she is. She is so, so beautiful. Again, this is hands down my favorite DIY of this video. I am just so in love with the way that they turned out. I made three of these for under $5 and I feel like this is something that you could find at Francesca's or at TJ Maxx or at Target and they would probably charge you about $10 for one of these. I made three of them for under $5. What is better than that? For the pineapple easter egg, you're going to want to take some green felt or some green cardstock and you just want to cut out a bunch of different shapes that are going to represent and resemble the top of the pineapple. Now all you really want to do is just take a bunch of those pieces that you cut out and you want to hot glue them to the very top of your yellow easter egg. I started off by hot gluing four of the felt pieces right to the center and then I took the rest of the green felt pieces that I wanted to use for this specific Easter egg and I just started hot gluing them around the perimeter of that center piece. And to finish off this DIY pineapple easter egg design, I just took a gold felt marker and I added some diagonal lines in a crisscross manner. Once I was finished with all my diagonal lines, to finish this entire look up, I added a dot to the center of all of the diamonds that I created. Here's the final product and all of a sudden I have this really, really strong urge to sing the theme song to Spongebob Squarepants. I think that he would be really, really proud of these Easter eggs. Squidward? Probably not so much. So next up is going to be more of a Pinterest test. At this time last year, I put up a tutorial on how to do the DIY shaving cream Easter eggs. That is what I'm showing you here in this clip right now. I will link that original video in the description below. Last year I used the hard boiled eggs and this time I'm going to try using the fake eggs. This experiment is still 
hands down, to this day, one of the coolest DIYs I have ever done in my entire life. When I used the hard boiled eggs, the colors were so vibrant. They were very galaxy-esque and I'm very interested to see how this experiment is going to go using the fake eggs. So if you're interested in checking it out, just stick around. I'm going to follow all the same exact steps that I did in last year's video. So the very first thing that you want to do is take an aluminum pan and then you want to take some foaming shaving cream and you want to pour an abundance of the shaving cream into the pan. Next you want to take a bunch of different food coloring and you want to add a ton of drops, the more the merrier for this. And then you just want to take a pointy object and you want to swirl those colors around. Then the last thing that you want to do is take your Easter egg. Again, I have it on a push pin. You want to dip the Easter egg right into that food coloring shaving cream mixture. You really want to get as much as you possibly can on your Easter egg. And then you just want to place it on a piece of cardboard to set for about 20 minutes. I tried to follow the exact same color scheme that I did in last year's video so I could truly, truly compare the two. I did some green and yellow, some red and blue, and some red and yellow. So after about 20 minutes of allowing the food dye and the shaving cream to set on the Easter egg, I just took a bunch of paper towel and I started blotting off the shaving cream. And this is what the final result looks like. To be honest with you, these came out amazing. They look really, really great. But the actual hard boiled egg is much, much more vibrant. So again, just to reiterate, I think that these came out amazing. They are so much fun to make, but if I had the choice between using the hard boiled eggs or the fake eggs, I would definitely lean towards using the hard boiled eggs if I was going to do this experiment again. These came out beautiful, but they're kind of dull and the colors didn't really attach onto the egg as much as they did to the hard boiled egg. When using the hard boiled eggs, the eggs were so shiny, they were bright, the colors were really, really vivid. So I would give this maybe like a 5 out of 10, but I give the hard boiled eggs a 10 out of 10. And finally, save the cutest for last, we are going to be making some adorable flower child Easter eggs. All you need to do for this is take a black Sharpie marker or any kind of black marker that you have and you want to start by making an L-shaped nose. You can make this as thick or as thin as you would like. Then you just want to make a little circle on the bottom for the mouth and two half circles for the eyes and you cannot forget about those beautiful lashes. After the face has been applied, all you really need to do to finish up this Easter egg is to hot glue on an abundance of different flowers to the top of the Easter egg. I went with a hot pink, light pink, and white flower design. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. You are left with these super adorable flower child Easter eggs. And if you want to take this up a notch, you can always take some gold clay, mold it into a horn, paint it gold, and hot glue it right to the center to turn your flower child Easter eggs into unicorn Easter eggs. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoyed my videos. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support on my channel.